Hello, it's Mr. Sorbas here with a new Geometry Node video. Target is to create this toon city silhouette we see in the background as a generator. I really hope this short video inspires you to create something beautiful. Let's right away go here to the geometry nodes tab. We will create a new node group for this cube. Let's rename this to be city. I don't know if this is slowly becoming a meme, but let's add here a grid. Here shift plus a mesh, then primitives, then grid. We are going to connect it straight here to the geometry. Let's put here something like 16 meters and then 13 meters. Then for the second value I put here only two. So if we go here to the wireframe mode, we will add node called subdivide mesh. Mesh, then operations, then here we are supposed to have subdivide mesh. So with this we can control how dense our city grid is. We continue by splitting some of those edges to create houses. So C plus A mesh then operations then we find here split edges. And now we can control this with a noise texture. So let's find texture then here noise texture and connect it to the selection. So we add color ramp go here to the utilities color and then color ramp. We find the node called scale element. Again here mesh operations. Then here we find scale element. And we can control it with this color ramp. I want to use here some smaller scale for this noise texture. We can always come back to these values. Then we want to delete some geometry. So we go here to the geometry operations. Then here delete geometry. Let's add it there. We need another noise texture to control this. So we can duplicate this one. And let's connect this to the selection. And actually we can also duplicate this color ramp. We don't wanna delete points. Instead we wanna delete delete faces. And now we need to find some good value for this. Let's not delete too much. Anyways, this is the basic system to make layout for the city. We can change the noise textures to be 4D. Let's connect the W value here and this one also here. We can control here kind of the seed of this city. Okay, it's very important that we keep things simple. So that's why I select all of these nodes and then I press Ctrl plus G to make a group. And then if we want to control something outside of this group, we can track, for example, the scale of both of those noise textures outside of this group. And also those size values and the subdivision level also. We also want to track this grid out of this group. Group. So let's just track here. Then we also want to make some materials. So material set material node here. Then let's go here to the materials tab. Click new and let's just call this houses. And let's use that same here. Duplicate this material for that or grid also. To get out of this group we just press tab. To make those to be houses we can extrude this mess. Here C plus A mess and then operations extrude mesh. We want to control the height of these, so we add here noise texture, C plus A, then find here noise texture, and let's connect it to the offset scale value. So we can fix that by adding a little bit math here. Utilities again, and then math, and then math. We go here and select the map to be greater than. So now we can kind of select with this node the biggest buildings that we want to add. Just we will duplicate this and then let's make this to be divide. So now we can control those specifically with this. And then let's duplicate this again and let's make this to be add. So now we add this one here to the bottom slot and then this original to the top slot, then this one here. So now we have good control of the highest buildings. So let's simplify everything by selecting all of these in our new nodes and then press Ctrl plus G. And then we want these top and side lines to go out from this group. We also wanna be able to change the seed for this noise texture. So let's get this W value also out. Then we can tap out with tap. Let's also rename this to be extrude. 
Then we wanna create some roof details here because we don't wanna have completely flat roofs there. So to do that we will separate the roofs from the other parts of this city. To do that we go here to the geometry, then here operation, then separate geometry. Now we have this extrude and we can use this or top selection to select only those roof parts. Then we want to subdivide those planes. So here let's go to mesh, operation, then subdivide mesh add that there and I'm gonna use here three levels then we want to extrude those so that's why we go here to the mesh then operations and then extrude mesh so we need to change the selection so that we don't extrude everything to do that we add here noise texture and let's connect it to the selection so we need something to control this noise texture and to do that we add ramp which is found here from the utilities and then here color then color ramp and now we will track this until we get good amount of those random details there maybe make the scale a little bit bigger now those are way too big so we just drop this offset here I don't know, something like that. Now we are going to do something that can be done only if you have one add-on added. The add-on name is T3D GN Presets. So we install the add-on by going here to the edit, then preferences, then here get extensions. You will find here T3D and you are supposed to have here this one. Just install it here and then we can keep going. So maybe some of those boxes actually are not some ventilation boxes, but instead some of them are having some sort of an antenna or chimney. For that we need to insert those. Now here T3D GN presets, we go to the mesh, then insert faces. Now if we test the depth, we can see what's happening. We want to be able to control the selection. If you remember the extrusion that we did here, so we get this top one. But it's still too much, so we need to remove something from that. We can do that with another noise texture, and actually with another ramp also. So let's duplicate both of those. We get some boolean math. So we go here to the utilities, and then math, then boolean math. And then we connect this one here to the bottom, and this one here to the top. And now we have here this and. So we connect here, and now with this we can kind of select where do we have those chimney shapes? And I made them a little bit shorter, maybe 0 0.03. Then I will extrude those. Let's duplicate this or extrude node. Then from this inset phases, we get this inner phase to the selection. Now if I want to make those little bit thinner, like look more like an antenna, we can add here node called scale elements. So here mesh, then operations, then here find scale elements. And now we can use this top selection from this extrude mesh to be the selection to scale those. And we want to again simplify everything by grouping all of these. So again, control plus G. Make a group and then what we want out from this is only the geometry. So nothing else. Tap out and then we have this one. Now you are maybe thinking how do we get back the buildings. And it's very easy. You can find here geometry, then join geometry. And now if we connect this one here, we get the buildings back. So let's create stylized windows to the sides of these buildings. We again do it by separating the sides of these. So here let's go to geometry, then operations, then separate geometry. Add it there, then we are going to use the side. This has to be faces because that's what we are going to use here. So the process is very much similar. So we add here mesh operations and then subdivide mesh. And let's add here two levels. The next thing is that we will insert faces. So C plus A, T3, D, G and presets. Let's go here to the mesh inset faces. We want to insert a little bit of these like that maybe, but we don't want to push or pull those at all. So we want to extrude those and we do it by adding mesh and then operations, then extrude meshes. 
now we want to select here this inner face okay this doesn't look right so we make the numbers go very much backwards something like that feels right to me but i don't wanna have this effect instead what i want is that we have only some of those windows there so it's going to be a stylized buildings so that's why we add here noise texture let's add also here color ramp okay i little bit gave up with scrolling this list so i'm using the search now so let's connect this one to the selection here for the inset faces and now we can inset only some of those this creates very interesting effect then what we also wanna do is that we wanna create random size for every window so we connect this or noise texture to the inset also then we add here map range c plus a search map range and add it there with this we can control how those windows are random and let's change size of this noise texture a lot so that we have quite random numbers there i added for the map range here minus one 1.5 routely something like that we need to create new material here and let's call this windows then here let's add the material and then set material node and let's select the windows we take the selection here from this inset faces inner face so i will make those windows to be red and let's see and we will make this to be another node group so ctrl plus g yeah, we don't need anything out from this, so we can just tap out, select group input and then tap out. So let's get the streets back here by adding join geometry node and then the streets are obviously here. Then we do something that without better words I would call adding character to this scene. So we add node called set position, search set position. And we are going to distort this whole scene a little bit, so it will look, to me at least, a little bit more interesting. We add here noise texture, then we add this noise texture to the offset. This looks awful. We will fix it by making the scale to be something like 0.1. And then we add math also, then we will subtract 0.5, so it will give the distortion going equally to all directions. And if you don't want to distort it in set axis, then then you can also add here combine x y z and then connect it only for those two axes so that will make sure that it's not adding hills to this to be honest i think the hills are beautiful so that's why i will keep those and also if you wanna have more hills then you can duplicate this math node here and then make this to be multiplied so now it gives you the ability to make this go very crazy the floor is lower resolution than the city we can fix it by adding here subdivide mesh node then if if we subdivide the floor enough, it will start following the distortion of the city. Let's also add here set set mood node. So let's create materials for everything and we go here to the shading tab now. And let's start from the houses. The way how we are going to do the shader for these houses is a little bit unconventional. We are not going to use principled shader here. Instead we are going to add here an emission shader. And then we will add here light path node. With this light path node we will simulate the mist. So if we here select the ray length and connect it to the color, we get nothing. But we can control this with a math node. So if we find here math and use here divide, then with this we kind of get the mist effect if we divide it enough. So now depending how far from the city we are, the more we get this effect. And this is one of my favorite shadering tricks in Blender. So let's add here also color ramp. Then let's use some bluish colors for this. So to me it already looks like some toon landscape or something. And now with this we can kind of clamp. So the foreground houses are going to be completely black and then they are kind of fading to the mist so the problem with this system now is that it's completely flat i mean you only have depth there but you don't have any kind of side details so we can fix that by adding here a node called layer weight so find here layer weight and then if we connect this facing to the strength you get this effect so now if we add here color ramp for this layer weight like this then you kind of get the ability to get some side details there and then if we make this to be not so dark then it's not overwhelming but we still get some of 
those there. And this is very cheap effect, renders very fast, so all the positive sides are here. Then I will copy these two nodes and I will go to the windows and paste those there to the base color of this principled PSDF. And then let's add here color ramp to change the color. So just like the houses. You can actually connect this to the, the emission also. So delete the principled, then let's switch it to emission. So it will render a little bit faster. And then let's go here to the world tab and let's add here sky texture to finish this scene. And let's go here also to the rendering mode. The thing with these shaders is that the background actually doesn't matter at all. Everything is made out from emission shaders, so you can have literally anything there, and the city will always look the same. The, it also gives us some responsibility, because if we have here something that doesn't fit with the city, then the city looks bad. I, I'm just going to use here this sky texture and figure out something with these settings. So the way how I made these sun rays in the intro was with these very simple compositing tricks. I was using the sun beams and then I was masking it with box mask and then I blurred that mask and I mixed with lighting to the original render. Okay, this was the tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and God bless.